bring it. Okay, we're going to be completing today our heat transfer by conduction lab. We will be studying the way that the heat transfers from a hot cup of water to a cold cup of water. On page two, you will find your report sheet where you will collect all of your data. You'll notice at the bottom of page two, the setup we will be using, this is known as a calorimeter, and we will be analyzing the way the heat transfers from the hot cup through the aluminum bar to the cold cup. So we have taken some hot water from the hot cup, uh, from the teapot, if you will, and we're going to put that right next to the room temperature cold cup. We're going to place both of the thermometers with the aluminum bar. We're going to have a stopwatch ready so that we can take our readings according to our report sheet. Remember, we will take 20 consecutive one-minute readings. Okay. I'm going to take a time zero reading on both thermometers. The hot cup time reading or time zero reading is 22 degrees. And the cold cup starting point is 25 degrees. Okay. So we're going to drop this contraption into the hot cup, cold cup and hit the stopwatch so that we can take our timed one minute interval readings. So we begin. Hit the stopwatch, start. Time is going. We use the styrofoam insulating tops to try to minimize the loss of heat. All right, so this is what we're looking at. You might not be able to tell, but right off the bat, that hot cup thermometer temperature reading just shot straight up for obvious reasons. Remember the time zero reading for the hot cup was zero, uh, was 22 degrees Celsius, and the cold cup was a starting at 25, starting point. All right, coming up on our one minute reading. The cold cup has a reading of 23. And the hot cup has a reading of 76. Coming up on our two minute reading, the cold cup has jumped to 24 and the hot cup is 75. Remember for those of you who might be interested in starting to set up your graph while you're waiting for your data collection, on the procedure, step two, it tells you clearly um, how to set up your independent and dependent axes on your graph. Remember to include a key for your teacher so that they know which line represents the hot cup and which line represents the cold cup. Remember to label all axes with titles and units and place a title on top of every graph you make in science. All right, so we're coming up on the third minute reading. Okay, minute three, cold cup is reading at 24. Hot cup is reading 74.
We are approaching the four minute mark. Four minute reading. Cold cup, 24. Hot cup, 73. So hot cup, 73. Cold cup, 24. Approaching minute five. Okay, the minute five reading. The cold cup is still 24. Hot cup, 72. So let me repeat, minute five reading, hot cup 72, cold cup 24. Approaching minute six. Minute six reading, cold cup 24, hot cup 71. So minute six, hot cup 71, Cold cup 24. Approaching minute seven. Minute seven reading. Cold cup has jumped to 25. Hot cup down to 70.5. So 70.5 for the hot cup, 25 for the cold cup. Coming up on minute number eight, minute eight reading, cold cup, 25, hot cup, 70. Minute eight, hot cup, 70, cold cup, 25. Approaching minute nine, cold cup reading, 25.5, hot cup reading, 69.5, hot cup reading, 69.5, cold cup reading, 25.5 degrees Celsius. Coming up on minute 10, minute 10, cold cup reading. 26 degrees Celsius, hot cup reading, 69 degrees Celsius. So 69 for the hot cup, 26 for the cold cup. Coming up on minute 11. Minute 11, cold cup reading, 26. Hot cup reading, 68. 68 hot cup, 26 cold cup, minute 11. Approaching minute 12. Minute 12, cold cup reading, 26.5. Hot cup reading, 67. Minute 12, hot cup reading, 67. Cold cup reading 26.5. Now the bar, the aluminum bar is pretty hot. Think about why it's so hot. Think about what you might do to this setup to make sure that more heat actually transferred from the hot cup to the cold cup. And also think about why it might not be a smart idea <laughs> for me to be touching this aluminum bar during the experiment. A couple of nuggets to chew on. All right, approaching minute 13. Minute 13, cold cup reading, 26.5. Hot cup reading, 66. Minute 14 reading. Minute 14, cold cup, 27.
Hot cup, 65. Hot cup, 65. Cold cup, 27. Approaching reading 15. Reading 15. Cold cup, 27. Hot cup, 64. Reading 15, hot cup 64, cold cup 27. Minute 16. Minute 16, we have a cold cup reading of 27.5 and a hot cup reading of 63. Hot cup 63, cold cup 27.5. Reading 17, reading 17, cold cup, 27.5, hot cup, 63. So hot cup, 63, cold cup, 27.5. Approaching number 18, reading number 18. Cold cup, 28. Hot cup, 62. Hot cup, 62. Cold cup, 28. Home stretch. Here we go. Coming up on minute 19. Minute 19 reading. Cold cup, 28. Hot cup, 62. Hot cup, 62. Cold cup, 28. All right, our final reading, minute 20. Here we go. Cold cup, 28. Hot cup, 61. All right, hot cup 61, cold cup 28. Again, when you're completing your lab, you'll have discussion questions. Please make sure you answer all of them using complete sentences. Um, make sure as you plot your data that you follow the directions on procedure step number two. It lays out exactly how you have to set up your graph. When you're creating your graph, please make sure that you include a key for your teacher so that they can tell what line is what. Um, and make sure you include your titles and units and watch your scales on both your independent and dependent axes. Good luck.